Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bits and more. Link in the description below. All right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Madden Money Shop bringing you another Madden 18 update. We got a new couple of sets out right now. We got team leaders. I think last year was typically known as Team Heroes or Man of the Month. I'm thinking that's what it's named now. Uh, but but really exciting because this is an easy way to get some really good players and some really good cards without having to go to the auction and spend a bunch of coins. I've been saving up my coins. Uh, I've also been buying golds in advance for this because that's typically how you get them. Uh, but if you guys don't know how to get to them, I'll go ahead and I'll back out and I'll show you if you're new to Mutt. Uh, you just basically go over your team tab and then you go to upgrade sets. Uh, it's been pretty slim in the sets market. You really only had uh, with the legends, and now with this coming out, the legends will actually probably go down in price a little bit too, uh, which is pretty cool. You better complete those a little bit cheaper because there's more options and people are spending their coins in different ways. Uh, but either way, let's go ahead and let's go into this and just do a little review, see what we see, see what we got. Uh, right out the gate, I mean, it's pretty cool this year. You get to pick a player uh, compared to previous years. You really only had one. Um, so this one here, you're going to have your choice uh, between, um, looks like, four different guys. They do a pretty good job, too, of mixing it up. You, you got Carlos Dunlap, Giovanni Bernard, so really whatever you want. It's five guys, actually. There's Clint Bowling in there. Not the best team, though. So let's, let's find some good teams. Now, one of the ones I've noticed was most consistent as far as the most expensive gold cars has been the Broncos. It's like three to five grand to get a gold car when it comes to the Broncos. Um, so that's going to be a tough one to complete. I don't know if people are doing that ahead of time because they want Bradley Roby, good looking corner, Shane Ray. Um, some pretty good looking players right there. Uh, another team that's been really expensive on the other side, I say it would be the Cowboys. Let's take a look at what they're offering because honestly, you know, it's America's team, but they got some good players. Skandrick, Dak Prescott, Byron Jones. Their cards have typically been expensive, and I'm willing to bet they're going to go up even more in price. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's go to the market. I'll show you guys how to make these tokens because that's what you need to get them, and then I'll show you how to, uh, you know, what the card prices are going for right now in the market. So let's back out. Let's go find the tokens. So if you guys don't know, in order to complete these this year, you really have to go through the team token set first. Now that's over here. It's all the way at the end. It's the same set. That you're still in item sets you just go all the way to the end click on that and then basically you just have to have um, like this one here is not too bad turn 12 silvers to earn a fancy pack that allows you to choose uh, the token you want so that's not too bad for some silvers um, you also have elites and then you got team by team now this is where it gets expensive when you go team by team so basically like I said, if you want to get a Broncos one, that's like three to five grand right now. It's probably just went up. I haven't looked at it yet. We'll figure that out in a minute. But those are expensive gold cards. Um, some of the cheaper ones we'll try to find. Um, like I said, I can't say what I've seen price change at so far. But uh, from, from memory, because I was going out and trying to snipe cheap gold. Another one's really expensive is the Packers. The Packers are expensive again. That's like three to four grand each. Uh, but if I can remember correctly, there was the, the, the Redskins have some really cheap golds, typically. Um, so that would be one if you want to get a nice cheap player. I was actually upgrading the Bruce Carter middle linebacker because of the cheap golds there. Uh, I got him to like a second level, and I'm probably pretty close with third, but I got to get like the 88 overall, which is expensive. Which I could afford right now, honestly. I think it's like 200 grand. Uh, but hopefully, I'm, I'm waiting for that price to drop. So that's how you end up getting these team tokens. You turn in, I should actually look at that a little bit deeper. You turn in uh, 12... I'm sorry, 10, uh, 75 to 79, so, well, five of them rather. There's two rows here. You get five of a team's 75 to 79 and five of their 70 to 74. Obviously, the 70 to 74s are typically cheaper, but uh, that's really how you get the team tokens. And once you get the team tokens, you move over to the uh, the sets we were just talking about. You can use those in a couple different areas, but right now, since we're going over team leaders, uh, that's really the way to go. So if you complete the uh, the bills, say, you get enough team tokens. You, know, you only need one silver and one gold, and then bang, you can pick one of these players, and then you upgrade them from there. Um, and that's really uh, a really you know a good way to get a good card. I mean, you're getting an 80 overall base elite. If I can move my head here, it says yeah, team leader 80 overall. Um, you know, you can do this multiple times, I'm sure, and try to get all the players. But like I said, based off of memory, I know the Redskins had some of the cheaper gold cards. So let's go to the market real quick and find out. Find out how the market has been affected. So now, if you don't know, we're going to store tab, and then we're going to go to auctions and trades. We're just going to figure out uh, what what has uh, how the prices have been affected by this release, because typically it'll change prices pretty dramatically. So we're going to go to buy now price. I just put out a method for sniping gold, but that might not be as effective now. Um, I mean, it'll still be effective to an extent, but we're going to go quality. We're going to separate this. Let's do 70 to 74 first, just to see how bad this is. 
Um, still looks pretty much the same, to be honest. So let's go ahead. Like I said, I'm pretty sure the Redskins had one of the cheaper ones. And you can get some good players off of them. Now, I'm going to buy this guy right off the gate. I'm not even going to wait. 800 for this coin. For this is not bad. I could easily flip that for profit if I don't use it. Um, so like I said, I'm pretty sure the Redskins are a pretty quality spot to start out if you want to get one of the cheaper team leaders. Um, or like I said, there, you, there's been other methods for a while now. Um, so that's the 70 to 74 category. The 75 to 79 might be a little more expensive now. But it's way more expensive. Matt Iodinitis was about 1,000 to 1,200 pretty much um, consistently. And now he's gone up big time in price. So this was expected. That's why I was saying in some of my previous videos to buy these guys up now before this happens because then you can sell them for a lot more. Um, so if you're not interested in doing this and you have golds, uh, go in and sell them. They're going to be tripling value. Like I said, this guy right here just sold in front of me uh, was selling for about a thousand. So um, that's a really good uh, you know way to make some easy coins if that's what you're into. If you don't want to actually complete the sets, we're going to snipe this Bodine right here. Just snipe the guy. I'm gonna sell him for four. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's like because I, I I've been using my, my PlayStation account pretty much just for going into competitions. So to me, it's more important to have coins. My my Xbox account, I put a little bit more time into my team, uh, but I always end up recording over here anyway. So this year, uh, you just saw me snipe a guy. And I'm I sell him for double. Uh, Russell Bodine. So this is also this, you can take this as a not as a tutorial on how to make easy coins. Now that this has happened and the new cards have come out, you can just do this, go through, pick up these cards um, on the cheaper end, and then sell them right back. Which is basically a tip video I just put out. So I'll pop a link to that tip video. Uh, but you can do this to make coins easy too now, uh, because all these prices have gone up. So I'm just gonna go. Like I said, I got to set the 75 to 79, and I'm going team to team on buy now price. Uh, which like I said, this is a tip video I just put out. So this is something that it still works uh, Obviously the prices have gone up quite a bit um, But you can easily snipe uh, People that aren't aware of the value of their golds and then sell them right back as you saw I just made about double on a card accidentally in a couple of minutes. So yeah, I'm still pretty sure you'll go to get some cheap look at that I just picked up that same Matt Ioannidis guy for hundred and fifty coins and I'm gonna sell them for three five I'm actually, you know, I'm going to keep them for that right now. I'm not sure because I might complete some of these sets. Uh, but you can, you can see how the sniping technique still works as I'm just sniping them by accident right now. But like I said, the Redskins are definitely one of the easier ones to complete. As you can see, I just sniped a, a super cheap uh, gold card. So I really got a choice so that I make a couple grand if I want to put them towards the set. So let's take a look at what the Redskins actually have. Because like I said, I'm probably going to try... Um, I could easily get a uh, Terrell Pryor, uh, one of my favorite receivers in this game, by the way, Terrell Pryor, senior last year. Uh, other than that, though, I'm not a fan of any of these guys. Preston Smith, maybe got a decent pass rushing defensive end out of that. Um, he's actually an outside linebacker. Mason Foster's not very good. So uh, the Redskins will be cheap to get these guys, but the only guy worth getting really is Pryor. And then, like I said, I got a Bruce Carter that I'm upgrading um, in a different set. Um, so that's like I said, there's 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 something to be said there. So let's take a look at who's got some of the best uh, players out there uh, to get. The Cowboys are pretty nice, but like I said, their cards are expensive. Uh, that Dion Buchanan looks pretty good. Uh, nice user middle linebacker. Um, the Eagles can't say there's nothing really there. I'd say the Falcons, are, which have also have some of the consistently higher priced cards, Tevin Coleman, Keanu Neal, um, you know, those are really good cards right there, a safety and a running back. Um, they keep going. I'm just noticing that I noticed the Giants cards are selling for like five thousand a piece, and I don't know if that's because people are going after Eli Apple, uh, which is a really nice card. I noticed that the cards that are the teams that have cornerbacks, typically cards sell a little bit higher. Like I said, the Packers are really expensive. Um, but they, you know, I would love a Clay Matthews, but I already have one. But <laughs> I, I don't know if the team version is going to be any better. Uh, I think that the uh, the Panthers are really nice. You got Bradbury, Calvin Benjamin. Uh, There's pretty good cards there. The Rams, Todd Gurley, Mark Barron, uh, you know, Maurice Alexander, Robert Quinn. Uh, Roby's not that great. Cor uh, Roby Coleman's not that great. He's kind of short corner. Another really good one is the Vikings. You got Daniel Hunter, Eric Kendricks, a speedy middle linebacker, and Anthony Barr, a speedy outside linebacker. One of everybody's favorite, Anthony Barr. So, some really good NFC teams. Let's look at the AFC. AFC right at the gate, I'd say Shane Ray and Bradley Roby, but like I said, the, the Broncos cards are expensive, so you might not be able to get that. Uh, I kind of like, I mean, I want to kind of get a Miles Garrett, a good Miles Garrett on my team, and you can get him on the Browns. He's a really good player this year. 
I really like me some Ron Parker. Uh, if he's a little bit faster than his uh, base card is, his base card is not. I mean, it's good speed at 84, but if it's an upgraded speed card, that's a nice uh, play to get right there. Uh, the Jaguars got some really good ones. Miles Jack, a good user linebacker. Allen Robinson, Allen Hearns, you get your choice between receivers. Uh, but I really say for the most part, the guys that I'm liking are all in the NFC. The NFC has way better cards. Um, I also like me uh, uh, some some Joseph, a big hit in safety. Uh, you get David Amerson, a really good corner. Crabtree, the Raiders got some really nice cards. Uh, Jimmy Smith, Tyvon Young is not that tall. Darius Webb, Mike Wallace, a speedy receiver. So the Ravens got some cards, uh, some nice ones there. And then you can get yourself a Mariota. I think I'm really going to try hard to get myself a Mariota card. Best quarterback in the game, in my opinion. One of my favorites. Um, you can also get a rack pose. Not too bad. Uh, fullback is not really too worthwhile. I bet you could sell Fowler for some good coins, but uh, he's not really too worthwhile. So I got about a quarter of a million coins. I haven't worked too hard to get him. I'm in the middle of a draft uh, champ right now. So once I finish that up, I'll probably get another uh, 20 to, uh, to 50K easy, uh, no matter what point I, I finish. So I'll have at least 300 coins without really trying to get up some of these guys. So let me know in the comment section if there's any players that you like or you think I should try to get um, to improve my team because I have been kind of waiting for this. I've been kind of stocking up coins, uh, not really spending it, just kind of waiting for this to come out. So um, let me know what you think, and that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Money shit out.